The American Civil Liberties Union filed a lawsuit Wednesday that seeks to stop President Trump's policy of sending certain asylum seekers to Guatemala. Since last summer, more than 150 migrants have been sent to Guatemala. That includes at least 43 children. Most of those impacted are from Honduras and El Salvador. For more, let's bring in Camilo Montoya Galvez. He is a CBS News immigration reporter. Camilo, thanks for being with us. Can you remind us why asylum seekers were being sent to Guatemala in the first place? Yes, good evening, Elaine. So last year, the Trump administration brokered three controversial asylum agreements with Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, the countries that make up Central America's northern triangles. These deals essentially allowed the U.S. to send asylum seekers from all over the world to these nations. Only the agreement with the government of Guatemala has been implemented so far. The U.S. has sent more than 150 asylum seekers, including families and dozens of children, from Honduras and El Salvador to Guatemala, denying them access to America's asylum system and requiring them to choose between protection in the Central American country seeking refuge there or returning to their homes. The administration maintains that its agreements will foster the distribution of asylum claims among the nations in the region and provide protection to migrants closer to their home countries. But advocates argue that these countries do not have full and fair asylum systems capable of providing refuge to those fleeing persecution. And it is important to note, uh, Elaine, that hundreds of thousands of people from these Central American countries have journeyed north to the U.S.-Mexico border over the past two years, many of them fleeing endemic violence and extreme poverty. So why does the ACLU and other groups challenging the policy believe it is illegal? The ACLU says in its lawsuit that these asylum agreements represent a dramatic departure from the safe third country provision in U.S. law that the administration is using to defend the legality of these deals. The safe third country provision allows the U.S. to enter into a bilateral or multilateral agreement uh, to send asylum seekers to a third country as long, and this is important, as the U.S. government makes a determination that those asylum seekers Seekers will not face persecution on a protected ground under U.S. asylum law in these third countries and that they will have access to a full and fair process to request asylum there. The, U, the ACLU, rather, believes that these deals with Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras violate this provision in U.S. law because these countries do not have fully functioning asylum systems, unlike Canada, which is the only nation which uh, the U.S. has a safe third country agreement with. And uh, Lee Gallant, who is the ACLU's top immigration lawyer in this case, told me that this is not a way to provide people with fair asylum um, avenues and uh, protections, but in his eyes, it is an effort by the administration to quote-unquote wash its hands of any responsibility to provide for protection uh, for people fleeing persecution in the region. Well, not every asylum seeker arriving at the U.S.-Mexico border is sent to Guatemala. How do Border Patrol agents make that decision? Customs and Border Protection agents are the first to make the initial determination into whether migrants should be subject to this deal with Guatemala. The officials then refer those asylum seekers to undergo interviews with asylum officers. But during these interviews, migrants have to affirmatively say that they fear being sent to Guatemala. So they are not asked about this. And even if they do say that they fear going to Guatemala, they must pass a fear persecution standard that is much higher than the typical credible fear interviews that most asylum seekers at the southern border are subject to. So uh, Lee Gallant, uh, who is the lead uh, plaintiff, uh, I'm sorry, the lead uh, attorney in this case, cited the case of the lead plaintiff in this case, who is a gay man uh, from El Salvador, who, despite expressing fear of being sent to Guatemala, was deported there by the U.S. And Elaine, the State Department warns that societal discrimination and police abuse against LGBT people in Guatemala is rampant. Hmm. Well, Guatemala has a newly elected leader. What is his stance on the issue, and how might he work with the Trump administration? Right. Uh, Guatemala inaugurated uh, its new president yesterday. Uh, this is another conservative government. So in terms of ideology, 
ideology, nothing uh, changes much, but uh, this new president has voiced some concerns about disagreement with the U.S. that uh, the former president, Jimmy Morales, supported and brokered with the U.S. Uh, I think it will be key uh, to keep tabs on whether he agrees to allow the U.S. to move forward with the controversial plans to include Mexican asylum seekers in this agreement. Elaine, people from El Salvador and Honduras cross through Guatemalan territory, territory to reach the U.S.-Mexico border, but people from Mexico do not travel through Guatemala to reach the U.S.-Mexico border. So this would be sending people past their country into a third nation that has a virtually non-existent asylum system. Yeah, so many major implications with this issue. Camila Montoya-Galvez, thank you. Thank you, Elaine.